to remember the extent of the testes which is happening to be from the fourth segment to sixth segment of the testes. Then we come on to from these testes arise a vast difference. See this is the tube which is known as vast difference. Now this vast difference is the tube which is carrying the sperms which were produced in the testes away from the testes and are meeting over at a point. So, this is vast difference, okay, vast difference. They are meeting at a point from both the sides. You can see from both the sides they are meeting it, okay. At the point where these vast difference meet, they produce an ejaculatory duct. Just see this is the structure of an ejaculatory duct. So, both the vas difference are joining to form an ejaculatory duct. Try to compare it with the reproductive system of the humans. In humans also, when the secretion of seminal vesicle, when the secretion of the prostate gland in humans used to get poured into the vas difference, that duct was known as ejaculatory duct. Similarly, in the cockroach also, when the vas difference from both the sides of the testes meet at a common point and there are secretions of conglobate glands and mushroom glands, then these vas difference would be known as ejaculatory duct, which opens outside through the male genital pore, okay. So, the ejaculatory duct are opening outside the body of the cockroach through the male genital pore, okay. This is the male gonopore which I was talking about. See, it is opening over here na, in this portion, okay. Then we have seminal vesicles at the point where these two ejaculatory ducts meet at the point uh, where the two vast difference are meeting, a gland is present which is known as seminal vesicles. The role of seminal vesicle is a storage of sperms. If you are, if you people are asked in the NEET examination ki what is the function of seminal vesicle, then you are going to say ki it is the storage of the sperms which is happening in seminal vesicle. So, this was seminal vesicle, okay. Then we have a mushroom gland or the utricular gland. See, the mushroom gland or the utricular gland, this is the mushroom or the utricular gland. In the diagram, you can see the mushroom gland or the utricular gland. In the diagram, it is mentioned over here. It is just situated above the seminal vesicle. So, first of all, study about the location, where it is located. Both the vas difference were meeting and at the point of their rendezvous, a gland was present which was known as seminal vesicle. Just above the seminal vesicle is present a utricular gland. Now, this utricular gland is also called mushroom gland just because of the shape of it. The shape is mushroom like that is why it is known as the mushroom gland. Now, the thing which you have to remember about this mushroom gland is that it has two kind of processes. This mushroom gland has two kind of processes. Just see, these are the processes which are emerging out of the utricular or the mushroom gland. So, there are some small fibers, there are some small projections and which are known as utriculus brevorus. And they are some long projections which are known as utriculus majoris. Okay, I am writing down the name for them. The two kind of projections, utriculus brevoris and the utriculus majoris. Utriculus majoris or the long tubules have a gland known as uricose gland at the tip of them, which absorbs the nitrogenous waste material from the hemoseal. Try to remember this thing. 
अगेन द मशरूम ग्लैंड इज कंटेनिंग टू काइंड ऑफ फिलामेंट टू काइंड अ लॉन्ग फिलामेंट एंड अ शॉर्ट फिलामेंट द लॉन्ग फिलामेंट इज नोन एज यूट्रिकुलस मेजोरस द शॉर्ट फिलामेंट्स आर नोन एज यूट्रिकुलस ब्रिवोरस द यूट्रिकुलस मेजोरस और द लॉन्ग फिलामेंट कंटेन अ ग्लैंड एट द टिप ऑफ इट जो लॉन्ग फिलामेंट्स हैं उनके टिप पर देर इज अ ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट विच इज नोन एज यूरिकोज ग्लैंड इट हेल्प इन द एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट मटीरियल फ्रॉम द हेमोसील ऑफ द कॉक्रोच गॉट इट एंड देन द शॉर्ट फाइबर्स आर प्रेजेंट विच सिक्रीट न्यूट्रेटिव फ्लूड फॉर द स्पर्म ओके देन अगेन देर इज अ ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट विच इज नोन एज फैलिक ग्लैंड और द कॉन्ग्लोबेट ग्लैंड फैलिक ग्लैंड और द कॉन्ग्लोबेट ग्लैंड इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द मशरूम ग्लैंड दिस फैलिक ग्लैंड एंड इंपॉर्टेंटली दे ओपन सेपरेटली रिमेंबर दैट इजेकुलेटरी डक्ट वॉज ओपनिंग थ्रू द मेल गोनोपोर बट द फैलिक ग्लैंड ओपन इंडिपेंडेंटली थ्रू अ डिफरेंट पोर फ्रॉम द बॉडी ऑफ द कॉकरोच विच इज नोन एज फैलिक अपर्चर ओके इट इज नोन एज द फैलिक अपर्चर so you have two openings in the male cockroach the male gonopore and just adjacent to it is a phallic aperture through which the secretions from the phallic glands are being drained into it okay so it is the phallic gland then again a very important thing which you people have to remember is phallomeres what are phallomeres these are the chitinous structure which are covering up the male gonopore they overhang above the male gonopore and are made up of chitin a similar structure is present in the female counterpart of the cockroach as well what do they do and what are they composed of can be asked to you people in the neat examination okay so basically that phallomere is divided into three major types depending upon the position the left phallomere the right phallomere which are present on the two lateral sides and a ventral phallomere which is present on the ventral side of the male gonopore now the male gonopore is going to open into the ventral phallomere so b if you are specifically asked that where in which phallomere is male gonopore going to be opening into so you can say that it is the ventral phallomere and if it is asked that phallic aperture this phallic aperture where it is opening into so you will say it is the left phallomere where it is going to open into okay the phallic gland has a phallic tube duct which opens outside the body of the cockroach into the left phallomere while the ventral phallomere is containing the male gonopore okay so this is the structure of a basic morphology about the male cockroach okay so many of the pupil you might be uh, not able to perceive na there is a perception issue the sir has told about the phallomeres basically what happens Uh, you can consider these phallomeres as a sclerotic plates only there were sclerotic or the chitinous plates na over the body of the cockroach which was forming as the exoskeleton similarly these three phallomeres are also the sclerotic plates but they cover up the male gonopore might be some of the students want to uh, see the structure how they look so i have a structure of them so this is the structure of the phallomere you can see ki these phallomeres are present the left phallomere is of concern with you people see in the right phallomere in the ventral phallomere you will find the ejaculatory duct and the male gonopore which i was talking about okay so this is ventral phallomere now the left phallomere is explained over here in this diagram 
सो द यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम की दैट वेंट्रल फैलोमियर इज मेड अप ऑफ प्लेट्स सो इट हैज प्लेट्स वॉट प्लेट्स आर देयर यू कैन फाइंड द स्यूडोपेनिस ओवर हियर विच इज बेसिकली मेंट फॉर द एंकरेज इट इज नॉट द कॉपुलेटरी ऑर्गन द स्यूडोपेनिस सर्व एज एन एंकरेज ड्यूरिंग द कॉपुलेशन ओके सो यू हैव एन एक्यूटो लो टीटीलेटर विच यू फाइंड ओवर हियर इन दिस डायग्राम जस्ट सी द एस्पारेट लो द स्यूडोपेनिस द टीटीलेटर एंड द अक्यूटो लो सो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू that uh, the phallic gland is going to open into the ventral valomer so if you are very much specific and you really want to know ki in which of the following sub i use the word sub valomer is it going to open into then it is the aspirate lobe in which the phallic aperture is going to open into so there might be some students who want to know a bit detail about this cockroach so this part of the lecture was uh, डेडिकेटेड टू दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु रियली वॉन्ट टू स्टडी एवरी थिंग अबाउट इट ओके हाँ तो आई कम ऑन टू नाउ द मेन डायग्राम ऑफ इट सो नाउ आई कम ऑन टू द मेन डायग्राम नाउ द पैसेज ऑफ स्पर्म इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू पीपल नाउ हाउ इज द स्पर्म बींग ट्रांसफर्ड ट्राई टू लिसन टू इट वेरी केयरफुली देर आर क्वेश्चन विच माइट बी आस्क टू यू पीपल रिगार्डिंग द path of sperm you have to trace the path of the sperm and know every milestone which the sperm is going to pass through before it is released into the female gonopore okay so the journey of the sperm begins from the testes as i have previously told you they are stored in the seminal vesicle in the seminal vesicle these sperms are uh, glued in form of a ball and the utriculus brevorus which was the shorter tubule is going to secrete some nutritive fluid for the sperms in that ball and utriculus majorus or the long tubule is going to secrete first layer over this spermatical ball a layer if you really want to know about like layer then you can imagine about a ice cream over which a caramel or the chocolate is being poured upon so the first layer is secreted by the now this is the important question try to listen to it a ball was formed and over the ball what is being poured a first layer of nutritive fluid is being poured over it by the tubules the utriculus brevorus the nutritive fluid and the layer majorly by the utriculus majorus or the long tubules so from the utricular gland now this spermatical ball has to go into the ejaculatory duct it has to pass outside the body na so it is going to follow the path which is leading to outside the body of the cockroach so from the seminal vesicle they are temporarily stored and the liquid is poured over this spermatical bowl by the utricular gland they are going to go into the ejaculatory duct now at this point when the spermatical ball with the first covering is reached into the ejaculatory duct a second layer is poured a second layer is poured in the ejaculatory duct so the spermatical ball contains two layer which are secreted inside the body of the cockroach that is spermatical ball is now is double layered the first layer was secreted by utriculus majorus the tubules and the second layer is secreted by the ejaculatory duct the cells of the ejaculatory duct itself over it so that spermatical ball is double layered inside the body of the male cockroach okay now it is released outside it is released outside outside means it is going to be released into the female uthical pore the genital papilla over the portion of it female cockroach at this point of time a third layer is secreted over this spermatical ball by the phallic aperture in the aspirate lobe so two layers are secreted inside the body of the cockroach and the third layer is poured only after 
द स्पर्म्स आर बींग डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द जेनाइटल पैपिला एंड दिस थर्ड लेयर इज इंपॉर्टेंटली पोर्ड बाय द फैलिक ग्लैंड विच इज ओपनिंग थ्रू अ फैलिक अपर्चर विच इज अगेन सिचुएटेड इन द एस्पारेट लोब ऑफ द लेफ्ट फैलोमीर सो दिस थिंग दिस स्पेसिफिक यू हैव टू बी वाइल यू आर लर्निंग अबाउट इट ओके सो नाउ you have learned about the male reproductive system and the fate of the spermathical ball till it is deposited in the female gonopore okay now i come on to the female reproductive system